upgrades. Yeah, that beat dropped harder than my grades in the second quarter. School, the place that us kids go to learn stuff. I'm just assuming that my audience consists of kids, because if you're like 57 or something, that'd be weird. People my age spend the majority of the time at school, so uh, yeah, I have lots of stories to tell. Also, the reason why I'm making this video now is because summer just started, and now I want to make people mad. So yeah, that's it. I don't have a transition from this to the next um, thing. So I'm just doing this um, off script. Okay, let's go. So this one time in science, we played Jeopardy. And it was actually pretty recent, like a month ago to prep for finals. So obviously, me and my team won. Fun fact, Illinois from Guppy Cannibals video was on my team. So that's pretty cool. Also, there's Bailey. I have no further explanation for him except for this. <laughs> We were winning because we are just all complete science nerds and were tied if not had the entire game. So at the very end, when she told us to tally together our points, this one team said 8,000 points. The thing was, they were losing the entire time and the most amount of points it could have possibly gotten was like 6,000 or whatever. But they still won. My science teacher didn't care enough to even check or do anything, but the, they just got the grand prizes. So the moral of the story is to lie, but only in science class, I guess. So, by the way, for getting second place, I got the stuffed monkey. I don't really know. I just wanted to include that in there because it's neat. So, yeah. Also, when writing the script, finals are happening. So, uh, yeah. Woot, woot. Oh, my God. That's so cheesy. Okay, so going back like seven years ago when I was still in primary school, I didn't really have a lot of friends. And I think part of the reason is because I was new and first graders are clueless and don't pay a lot of attention to what's going on around them. It's like, hey, is that a new kid? No. I think it just came from the, um, um, Billy. I don't really know. But I did have one friend whose name is, um, friend. So on the last few days of primary school, we were lining up from the playground to go back inside. Me and friend, we're talking about damn Pokemans, and well, this is how it turned out. So, did you know I had this one Pokemon one time called Charmander, and then he evolves into a Charmeleon? <laughs> oh my God, this is horrible. Yep, I puked outside on the playground for no apparent reason. I even went to the nurse and she said I wasn't even sick, but my mom came to pick me up anyways. Then I was probably playing my DS or something like that, but hey, not as bad as what happened the following year. I couldn't zip my coat. Th that's it. So it was like routine to go over to Mr. Teacher Man after attempting to zip my coat every day to ask if he could zip it. But you know what I was like? But, my hope will never <laughs> but then I got a new coat. So then I could zip it. Okay, next story. From kindergarten to fifth grade, you had this week of fun called Adventure Day. Or week or whatever. Before I tell the story though, I just want to say how jealous I am because while I have finals, they have Adventure Day! Oh, okay, I felt good getting that off my chest. Okay, my first Adventure Day story was in second grade, where we made smoothies and stuff, so uh, yeah. They told us to say healthy things within the smoothies, including vegetables and um, other stuff, like proteins. Well, not proteins, that'd be. Like, okay, I'm getting off the track, this isn't part of the script. So to see how it would all turn out, um, a lot of my classmates were choosing things like broccoli and spinach. But y'all know what I said? Strawberry and banana. I didn't trust this new fangled age drinks with all that junk in it. So by the time she actually made us drink the smoothies, they tasted really good. So my aunt at the time, she's got a smoothie maker blender thingy. So I asked her if she can make spinach, carrot, and lettuce smoothies with strawberries. Please. She happily said yes, thinking that she would take advantage of this opportunity, put a ton of vegetables in it. And when I drank it, it was horrible. So I see what the people at Adventure Day did. They put in like zero veggies and all fruit to trick us into eating our vegetables. Dang, man. First world problems. It's hard, man. It's, it's, it's hard. The second time I was having Adventure Day was in fourth grade and we saw the butterfly guy. The butterfly guy was just basically what his name was. He was a butterfly enthusiast or whatever I said. I just probably mispronounced that. I mispronounce a lot of things. Okay, so back to the story. The butterfly guy was talking about a sand in the jungle and all the beautiful butterflies and insects he saw. 
So after his long hour long lecture, we went to go see all of his wonderful insects and butterflies. When we walked into the showroom though, we saw tens of butterfly corpses nailed down to a display case. We read all the bugs that were corpses, right before they were going to get killed, they were like, but their hope dies because they die from the butterfly lover. Okay, last story. The same year we did eco columns. Okay, so last year in science we made these things called eco columns and we did it in groups of three. We did these things called bio boards. It's basically a project for the oldest of the elementary school. Research is some important dude from history. Next to script on that that you have to memorize and recite to all the little ones coming to your show. Then take your poster board, make a cutout of a head, and decorate the outside so you look like that person. Since at the library, all the biographies were checked out except for Harry Houdini and some Olympic gymnast person, I obviously chose Houdini. So when the time actually came to present, I did pretty well actually. After about two out of the three hours of work, I started to lose my voice. But you know what I was like? No! Okay? Jeez. That meme's dead! Okay? But, but, um, uh, uh. Uh, my... Just stop trying to be cool! Uh, uh, um... Also, I was there. You didn't even try at the end. You just told kids to go to some other person. You know what? You know what I have to say to you, Mr. Gretzky dude? What? My name will never die! Anyways, I did eventually have to go tell the kids to go to someone else. But hey, who cares? That's school for ya! Stop to me! Since I don't care if I will do a shameless plug, um, I just will. So please leave a like on the video if you want to see more of this stuff. I know this is a longer video going in the 7 minute range, but hey, it's fine. Even though it'll take me like weeks to edit. But who cares? It's summer, and then I have that time. So, um, stay in school, kids. And, um, please subscribe to me. I'm desperate. And, uh, yeah, goodbye, kids. Bye-bye.